Hi everybody, this is Rosa Sharon and I just finished Dancing Through Life in a Pair of Broken Heels. <laughs> Extremely short stories for the totally stressed. Of course you can tell this was written way back in the 90s. <laughs> this is pre-mid 90s, 93 to be accurate. Written by Mickey Goosewhite and illustrated by Kathy Goosewhite. You probably recognize Kathy's work and Kathy is a... <laughs> Comic strip is what I call the funnies, or what one of my exes actually called the um, educational, <laughs> the educational section in the newspaper. I always emulated that, and I always thought that was funny. I thought, you know what, you're probably right about that, and you're on to something. But it's so funny. A lot of these comic strips are very relevant, even for today, and it's rather intriguing. <laughs> And I love this part about the carry-on closet here. <laughs> I'm going to read something. It's a short chapter. I'm actually going to read the whole thing really fast. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, six hours before I leave on my two-day business trip. There I am making the final preparations. Wearily analyzing the myriad of potential problems I face and arming myself with every possible solution. Mind you, I'm not even thinking about my meetings. I'm just trying to figure out what to pack. Yeah, a lot of us can relate to this. My business parker, partner, Mike, has apparently fared even worse than I. When we meet at the airport, all he has with him is his briefcase. You know, I'm more like a guy in this respect. <laughs> bag, um, all he has with him, okay, bag must be too big to carry on, I smugly think, to myself as I approach him in the airport, while at the same time wondering how I'll ever be able to cram the duffel bag I'm hauling under my seat. You check all your stuff, I inquire. What stuff? What stuff? That's when it hits me. He has no bag. He has no bag because he needs no bag. Because he's wearing an outfit that will sustain him through our entire trip. That chameleon ensemble of a men's attire, which there is no equivalent in women's wear. <laughs> a sport jacket, a, a sport shirt, trousers, and a pair of loafers. For him, it's so simple. If we go somewhere casual for dinner, He'll roll up his sleeves. If it's cold out, he'll wear his sport coat. And if we go somewhere nice for dinner, he'll dig the neck tag out of his briefcase. As for me, I ponder these questions at 2.30 a.m. as I stare bleary-eyed into my closet. What if we go somewhere casual for dinner? If we go somewhere casual, will it be casual like jeans, a sweater, or loafers casual? Or casual like anything less than a skirt, blouse, low heels? and I want to spend the night hiding in the ladies' room casual. I stuff both version of, versions of casual, each accompanied by the appropriate pair of shoes into my duffel bag. What if we go someplace nice for dinner? Better to throw in a dressy dress. <laughs> I love that, dressy dress. Better to throw in a dressy purse. Better to throw in a slip, pantyhose, and yes, a dressy pair of heels. What if the temperature happens to drop 10 degrees? No matter how good I look, I'll be freezing, cranky, and miserable. The only rational thing to do is to pack casual and dressy cool weather alternative outfits in my bag. Both outfits are useless without a pair of black suede boots. <laughs> what if we're invited somewhere formal? I would just like to point out that if, by chance, we're asked to a formal event while out of town, it would take him approximately 23 seconds to rent a tuxedo. Suffice it to say, finding my ball gown and matching shoes will take slightly longer. Ain't that the truth? So, here we stand at the gate. My partner, Mike, is reading his Wall Street Journal, and I'm trying to convince the guy at the check-in that my, guy, my, my bag will really fit under my seat. But at least we're both ready. That is, unless it rains. If we hit a mall between the airport and the hotel, I'll be upset. And she talks about uh, conversations with her mom and uh, encounters that she would have with other women in the in the same dining area where she would go out with her mom and there would be women that had little babies all around. And she says, well, I'm 32 and my mom hasn't pressured me yet about this uh elephant in the room and I thought yeah the, the pressure of being female welcome to my world but <laughs> eh, yeah there are some people in my workplace to say oh your clock is ticking and I just have to shake my head really now come on I'm a late bloomer and I'm still young I'm still in my prime so I don't see why people are making a big fuss over this but 
This is a very short book. It was very, very, very um, enjoyable. And I'm a huge Kathy fan. I always have been. Ever since I was young, I've always enjoyed Kathy. I can relate to her. I don't know why. Because I'm not really that girly, but I, I get the plight of women, even in this day and age. I don't get why, why uh, women think it's, well, I guess it's to accentuate the calf, but I've never worn high heels. I can't really walk in them. I, I look like a really awkward giraffe when I wear them. So it's, just, it's like the Ministry of Silly Walks. In real life, but oh my goodness, it's, it's just terrible. If you want to see me do that skit, I can do it perfectly in high heels and it, <laughs> without missing a beat. Just just ask me to do it. I would be more than happy to do it and, and crack you up in the process while I look like a complete and total nimrod while doing so. Um, I don't really have that much else to say about this other than I'm really happy that I got it. It only cost me $2. It was uh, withdrawn from public library, but they had a few others. They had a they had a Dilbert one and I wanted to get it. They had Dilbert and they had Foxtrot. And I love both, but someone else bought them, so what are you gonna do? But um, that's basically what I had to, to say about other than uh, Kathy, her humor is similar to Jim Davis, I noticed. It's, it's just calling something as she sees it a spade a spade sort of thing and just uh, lamenting the whole um, plight that women go through on a daily basis particularly with um, just finding the right ensemble and uh, <laughs> the accoutrement so to speak of uh, any kind of occasion and it's uh, depending on the occasion it can be really challenging at times and I find I can relate to that too, but I, I can match. I, I'm very good at accessorizing, so I don't know how, but nonetheless, I really loved it, and I'm glad I got it. So that's all I got to say. Until next time, live long, prosper. Ciao, tutti.